you know, in the 1600s when the world was going through a renaissance, you know, we were under the East India guys. In the 1800s when the world was going through an industrial revolution, you know, we were just fighting a first revolt of independence as a country. In the 1940s after World War II, the whole world is going through a green revolution, you know, we're just getting independent as a nation. You know, it's taken us 500 years just to play this whole catch-up story. From where we go as a nation, it depends on our youth. I was born into an average uh, middle class family. My mom was a clerk in a public sector unit, my dad was an engineer. Uh, and the only thing my parents could afford me was uh, good quality education. And uh, all that I learned from my life was, uh, you know, I should learn hard, I should get into a good college and then I'll get a good job. Uh, but somewhere in 2005, 2006, uh, I think the world around me changed. Internet happened to me. I went to this small uh, place called Technopark. Uh, Government of India helped set up an incubator using uh, a bunch of students like us as a case study. Is it possible that you know average middle class Indians like me can also start companies? And then over the next six years, uh, we built MobMe, the company that we started into a company with more than 100 people employed. With more than 100 crores in revenues cumulatively. And around 20-25 crores in profits. In 2009-10, we approached our Department of Science and Technology, and uh, we gave them an idea you know, how how we could like change the whole uh, way incubators could be positioned. It, it was not about just me. Uh, I think the year after that, there were like three companies. The next year there were 10, the year after that there were 80. And the year after that, I think today there are more than 150 young startups like us, uh, two that are employing more than 4,500 people, generating 150 crores in revenues, uh, giving a lot of taxes, which goes into building roads and bridges. You know, once we started Startup Village, one of the most exciting things was the student entrepreneurship policy. And this decision is a very pivotal decision. It was made by Sri Uman Jandi, uh, the Honorable Chief Minister of Kerala. Personally, I've seen these people are extremely excited to work with the youth. And they're truly committed to make a change out here. Uh, it might take you know five years, ten years, but our dream is there will be a day when the sun sets at dusk in the valley, it'll rise to see the dawn of a silicon coast in India.